call this the opening act for the big Mardi Gras show. It's a great start. Welcome to the world's largest costume pet parade. This, to me, is better than Mardi Gras. <laughs> Definitely not Mardi Gras without the beach. Beautiful day, great event. Every year we come down here, it gets larger every year. A party so epic that a duck crashed this doggy get-together. He's a dog duck. He likes attention, so do I. For 22 years, this canine carnival has entertained the crowds that have lined these streets. <laughs> And this is the family-friendly parade. And maybe this one is the best one yet. It's beautiful weather. I mean, I don't think they could have had a better day for it. Many parade officials said this was the biggest crowd they've ever seen come to this parade. Such a, a vast variety of dogs. I've never seen so many different breeds of dogs in one place before in my life. Massive in a bag. Usually a full-scale pooch suit might seem like a good idea in February. It backfired. I'm sweating. Sweat. It should be, uh, I, I'm not saying I want it to be any cooler though, that's for sure. I'd rather sweat and have it be sunny. And usually being prepared for a pet parade means bringing a hat or a scarf. Sunscreen would have been great. But it seemed that nobody was complaining about these near record setting temperatures. I think it's like 80 degrees. It's incredible. It's going to be tough trying to top this act next week. Affleck, baby. In Soulard. Hoping next week is just as nice and beautiful, hopefully. Wade Smith, Fox 2 News.